Sherlock encounters probably the other great baddie in the original Doyle stories, who in our version is called Charles Augustus Magnuson, and he is a master blackmailer, and the one person who completely turns Sherlock's stomach. In this one we have a fantastic villain by the name of Charles Augustus Magnuson, which Lars Mikkelsen plays with uh, an amazing Danish cool. They had the idea of him maybe being Scandinavian, and they sent me some texts and well, I just fell in love with it, and just, it fit in me, you know, like a glove. So luckily, they went that way. It's chilling because of how real he is, how normal he is, how he might be someone we have in our midst, in our lives all the time, and that he doesn't purport to be evil. He's not driven by a sort of mad, chaotic Joker's energy that, that Moriarty is. Moriarty's unanchored. There's, there's something completely unhinged and derailed and anarchic about him. This is one of the very few occasions we get Sherlock Holmes expressing hatred. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen him hate anybody. We don't even hate Moriarty. Mm. In fact, he quite liked Moriarty. Who else does he hate? The no, way he okay. talks yeah. about Milverton, that. It's uh, a yeah. visceral reaction, which is, makes, makes Milverton, or Magnuson as we mm. have him, into a unique baddie. He's left most of what we, we would recognise as feelings behind years ago. <laughs> What I like with playing a character like this is that, uh, you know, all the things that we can't do is just what he does. He's right at the edge of, of, of our existence. Magnuson's a businessman. There's something very proper about what he does. He, he goes through a world that respects and honours and accommodates him. That's the interesting thing here, isn't it? Uh, that that he's, he's sort of, he meets his, his mirror. And he's also intellectually. Mirrors. We're ruled over by people like him all the time and it's chilling from that point of view, it's chilling.